What makes up the matter around us? Is matter made up of really tiny parts? If you could cut something in half over and over again, would you cut it indefinitely? Or is matter indivisible and can't be broken down? Scientists have struggled with these questions for over 2,000 years. The debate began with two great philosophers named Democritus and Aristotle. Democritus believed that atoms were made up of tiny parts, much like grains of sand. These were called atoms. His theory is known as the discontinuous theory. Aristotle believed that matter filled the entire space it occupied. His theory is known as the continuous theory. The objective of this lab is to determine whether matter is continuous or discontinuous. The materials that you'll need for this lab are some sand, a graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters with half full of sand, another graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters, some water, and some methyl alcohol. Experiment 1. First, measure 50 milliliters of water using a graduated cylinder. Predict the volume of the mixture of the water and the sand. Slowly, pour the 50 milliliters of water into the cylinder containing the 50 milliliters of sand. Experiment 2. First, measure 60 milliliters of water into a graduated cylinder. We've added food coloring into ours. Next, measure 40 milliliters of methyl alcohol into another graduated cylinder. Predict the volume of the mixture of water and alcohol. Slowly, pour the 40 milliliters of alcohol into the cylinder containing the water. Mix the two substances and record your observations. How can we explain the results of these experiments? Create a hypothesis explaining your observations. Why doesn't the whole equal the sum of its parts? Hopefully your model will help you better understand the theory of the atom.